It is the 3rd of the 7th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. Uh, had a lot of requests for me to take it easy on the nuclear stuff, so I'm going to save that for the end. I'm going to start on earthchangesscott.net. <clears throat> Wisconsin storm leaves one dead, 39 injured. Uh, emergency officials sifted through the damage and debris scattered across roadway Saturday after a line of fast-moving storms and high winds swept through northwestern Wisconsin the night before, leaving at least one person dead and 39 others injured. Uh, they do have video, CNN video attached. Freak cold weather grips southern Brazil. Rio de Janeiro, the southern parts of Brazil, a tropical country, has been stricken by cold snap since Monday, driving down temperatures to record low levels, bringing snow to some areas, a local weather serviceman has, has reported. Now, the weather monitoring of Santa Clarena State said the temperature fell to 8.8 Celsius degrees below zero in the small town of Pima on Tuesday, and of course, <clears throat> along the southern border, the temperature dropped to minus 6.2 degrees Celsius. Crop damage, the works. Noctilucent clouds invade the United States. Last night, a brink of rippling electric blue noctilucent clouds spilled across Canada border into the lower United States. In doing so, the clouds made their farthest excursion of the year away from the Arctic. Their unusual environment, these were the most brilliant NLCs I have ever witnessed, reports Stephen Rose now, who sends this picture from Washington State, um, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, this is just crazy northern sparkly clouds. The perfect radiation storm is brewing. We got a fear piece. Uh, I want to leave uh, the comment editor's note. So far, we have seen no evidence to support the idea of harp technology is capable of causing earthquakes. An interesting read. Forty miners trapped, three dead in China's disasters. Uh, coal mine flood in southwestern China trapped 21 miners underground while a cave in in another mine. Saturday killed at least three workers and left 19 others sealed off, officials said. Uh, Ojishchi River suffers major fish killed. This is Georgia. Death zone kills 80% of sunfish and 60% of bass. And uh, they're saying the extreme drought and high temperatures, lack of oxygen. Um, <clears throat> just crazy. Big, big death. Big, big fish kill. Uh, U.S. Wacky West weather means snow on the 4th of July. Um, a summer looks like a whole lot more like winter as, as travelers across the West scrambling to revise their 4th of July itineraries or at least pack their, at least their packing list. Ski poles are replacing fishing poles and popular hiking and camping spots where late winter snowstorms blanketed western mountains from the Rockies to the Sierra Nevada. And yeah, I've been seeing some stories on this where it's just, again, they had over 800 inches fall in the Sierra Nevadas and uh, they're still open for ski season on the 4th of July. Heavy rains prove too much for Missouri's Platte County levees. And of course they have videos. It was the day that most residents in the northwest corner of Platte County were fearing as heavy rains overnight proved to be the final straw for the levees already struggling to hold back the flooded Missouri River. Waters from the broken levee washed through the town of Rushall, Rushville, Missouri across the river. Uh, Atchkin, Kansas, after an inch and a half of rain overnight, Rushville resident Deanna Stanton and her brother spent Monday working to save their nearly century-old farmhouse. And it's the same old story uh, here in the upper Midwest. Flood, 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 flood. U.S. Rowan University grads reports on devastating floods in the Midwest. And over to the extinction protocol. Death toll from landslides in Bangladesh reaches 17. Rain triggered landslides. Financial storm clouds, 
unprecedented intensity gathering on the horizon. So they've got a big economy fear piece. Uh, buckle up, here it comes. Huge swath of South Georgia and North Florida continues to burn. And again, they're in the high heat drought conditions and tinderbox. Copenhagen drowned in torrential rain. Denmark uh, were hit by a violent cloudburst with major flooding. More than 5,000 lightning strikes were recording, according to the DMI cold within a few hours. And the sewers have overflowed. Um, so extreme weather in Denmark. Problems continue at world nuclear plants, and that's the France uh, story I put out a video on earlier. Uh, Tricastin. And March 11, Japanese tsunami waves topped 40 meters. That's 130 feet. They are now reporting. Parts of Ireland record coldest June in almost 40 years. June 2011 was the coldest June since 1972 in many areas, according to uh, Mitt Uren, with temperatures finishing around uh, 1.0 Celsius below normal overall in the country. Flooding in Nepal could leave thousands homeless. And of course, the, the Hawaiian Pu'u crater and the lavas coming up, looking to overflow that. Uh, RSOE <clears throat> still reporting the fires in New Mexico, Texas, Arizona, Georgia, Florida, uh, drought in Somalia, and that was the one I was putting out a report on um, yesterday uh, about how it's becoming a famine crisis. And where else? Uh, of course, we got extreme weather in North Dakota, South Dakota, Wisconsin, and Minnesota. Those were the storms that rolled through. Heat wave in California. Flash floods in Bury, England. And, of course, flash floods still going on in Mexico with a tropical depression. Over to... Uh, let's go ahead and go to the Yellowstone Exxon oil spill on the Mount River. Prompts evacuations. Uh, an Exxon mobile pipeline that runs under the Yellowstone River near Billings in south central Montana ruptured and dumped an unknown amount of oil into the waterway, prompting temporary evacuations along the river Saturday morning. I think they know exactly how many barrels. Uh, were lost, but they're basically saying the river's so high it's eroding the sides of the banks and uh, a piece of debris might have hit this pipeline, be it a, a full tree or, or whatever, uh, it's rushing down these rivers at high speeds and high levels. Um, so, popped one of these lines and just expect this erosion stuff to go on. You can remember uh, a day or two ago I was reporting they, they closed up the dam to, to check on erosion and knowing that they're going to have to do repairs after all of this is over with. And finally tonight, we're going to go um, to energy news, and this is the nuke stuff, so if you're tired of hearing it, I'll see you later. Fire breaks out at Los Alamos Technical Area 53. They're blaming a squirrel um, across the transformer, apparently an acre fire, and they put it out pretty quick, according to reports. Uh, the French fire in unit number one transformer at French nuclear plant. Residents reported thick black smoke. I put out a video on that earlier. Prime Minister's former nuclear advisor, there will be a broader, more disturbing discoveries later this year. There will be chaos. Now this is out of Japan, Fukushima. Radiation monitoring station data was actually three decimal places greater than the numbers released to the public, says Japan former Minister for Internal, Refer Internal Affairs. Let me repeat. Radiation monitoring station data was actually three decimal places greater than the numbers released to the public. And uh, that's about all I have new for you tonight. Of course, if I missed anything, please leave your comments or attach your videos below. Enjoy while you can, where you can, and uh, I'll see you when I can. Thanks, guys.